On April 6th, 458 BC, Ezra the Kohen left Babylon for Jerusalem. Hearing documents, Ezra gives the treasures in the land, or the treasurers in the land, orders demanding various things up to a million six hundred sixty nine thousand three hundred three dollars thirty three cents in silver fifty five hundred bushels of wheat five hundred gallons of wine five hundred gallons of olive oil unlimited amounts of salt and the suspension of the imposition of taxes tolls and tributes on the Kohenom, Levium, singers, gatekeeper servants, or laborers of the Beit HaMakadosh. Ezra also is instructed to enforce Torah and punish crimes in accordance with the judicial system of the Judeans, as well as those who defy the royal orders which he was given. Leading 1,496 men and their families to a crossing point by a river which has been speculated to have been near the modern city of Hit, Iraq. For three days they camped there. Upon realizing that there were no Levites or priestly servants among the expedition, he orders Ido, chief of Caspifia, to send them some. Ido sends a delegation of 258 temple servants in Levium. Before going over the ford, they fast and pray. Ezra selects 12 chief Kohenon to oversee the contributions of the king, his counselors, his princes, and all Israel in the diaspora had given him. As Ezra weighs out the silver and gold they have brought with them, he finds that they have 12,436,360 dollars and 40 cents worth of silver, 136 million five hundred twenty six thousand two hundred fifty dollars worth of gold, and over five dollars and 44 cents worth of bronze. After fasting and praying, they crossed the river or stream on April 17th and continued on their journey on the journalized southern bank of the Euphrates. Arriving on August 3rd, 458 BC, they rest for three days. On August 7th, the multi-million dollar contribution is handed over to leading Livium and Chief Gohenum, who weighed out for verification. Ezra's expedition offered 12 bulls, 96 rams, and 77 male lambs as a burnt offering, and 12 male goats as a sin offering. Ezra begins to minister revival to the land and teach Torah with the conviction of his forefathers. On December 10th, he orders all Judean men to assemble at Beit HaMakadosh. On December 13th, all the men shiver on account of holy fear and the rain. Ezra boldly calls out the nation for its sin of intermarrying with pagans. He orders that all city council judge over men who married into pagan families at prearranged times. Beginning on December 29th, 258 BC, the trials began. 17 Kohenum, 6 Levium, 1 Singer, 3 Gatekeepers, 86 Judean citizens were found guilty of the crime of marrying into pagan families. By March 26th, 457 BC, they were separated from the nation.